the five-year-old cancer patient who stole Kate's heart, Duchess phones very brave little girl who was pictured kissing her father through a window while shielding during lockdown. The Duchess of Cambridge praised the strength and bravery of a five-year-old cancer patient in a telephone call released today. Milis Nedin, of Falkirk was photographed kissing her father through a window as she shielded while undergoing intensive chemotherapy for leukemia during lockdown last year. The photograph, titled Shielding Mila, was taken by her mother Linda and is one of the 100 images included in the Duchess of Cambridge's book Hold Still, a portrait of our nation in 2020, which is out tomorrow. Kate Middleton, 39 phoned Mila and Linda last autumn and the conversation was released today on the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's new YouTube channel, alongside heartwarming photographs of Mila and her family. Mila, who was four at the time, began the call by saying, Good morning, Your Royal Highness, prompting Kate to respond, Good morning, goodness me, you're so polite Mila. Mila excitedly told Kate that she enjoys walking her dog knows the names of all the Cambridge children and likes the color pink, prompting Kate to promise she will wear a pink dress if they have the opportunity to meet. Mila was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in November 2019. When the pandemic hit, parents Linda and Scott decided to isolate separately to minimize the risk to their daughter. Linda stayed with Mila while service engineer Scott and Mila's sister Jody, 16, when to Linda's parents. We took the decision to isolate separately before lockdown because we were very conscious about what was happening, certainly in Europe, and in the UK, at that time, Linda told the Duchess. But our lockdown did come with a bit of a silver lining because she's still going through treatment and her immune system is compromised. Lockdown for us allowed us a period of time to focus on her treatment without interruption of illnesses and viruses in general, not just COVID-19. When asked why she had to spend time away from her father, Mila told Kate, he had to look after me because I went for a treatment. When he came, back, into the house I was so surprised. The photograph of Mila kissing her father through the window pane was taken on their first day of separation. It went viral after Linda shared it online with a post about the importance of observing social distancing measures and other restrictions. She decided to submit it to Hold Still Project after the Duchess of Cambridge made an appeal for submissions on this morning. I'm very grateful, Kate said. And also for sharing such a personal time. Mila asked the Duchess of Cambridge if she had a princess costume prompting Kate to say, I'm not wearing a princess costume right now I'm afraid Mila. After learning Mila's favorite color is pink, she added, I'll have to make sure I try and find a pink dress. Hopefully when, one day, hopefully, Mia, we'll get to meet and then I'll wear remember to wear my pink dress for you. At another point in the conversation, Mila excitedly told the Duchess, I know all of your kids' names. Before listing George, Charlotte, and Louis. Kate revealed, Louis has gotten so big now, he's very quick running around and he's on his little scooter as well. He's very quick. I can't keep up with him. Mila also told Kate her favorite thing to do is walking her dog Mr. Cole. Hold Still was launched by the Duchess and the National Portrait Gallery last year and invited people of all ages from across the UK to submit a photographic portrait which they had taken during the first lockdown. From over 31,000 images submitted, 100 final portraits were selected and shown in a digital exhibition before being displayed across the UK as part of a community exhibition. Hold Still, a portrait of our nation in 2020 brings together the final 100 Hold Still portraits, providing a unique record of our shared and individual experiences as the COVID pandemic took hold. The book, which has been put together with support from the co-op, will be available in UK bookshops and online from tomorrow. Friday 7th May, one year on since Hold Still was first launched. Net proceeds raised from the sale of the book will be split between leading mental health charity Mind, and the National Portrait Gallery. The funds will help to support arts and mental health projects across the UK, including Mind's work in local communities and the National Portrait Gallery's education and community projects.